Welcome back to The New Retired Me. My name is Tim, and I am a newly retired educator living in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And today I want to talk to you about an answer to a question I've gotten several times, and that is, how do you use artificial intelligence, or do you use artificial intelligence? And the answer to that question is yes. And today I want to show you a way that I think will benefit you, whoever you are, if you are a YouTube watcher, this is something you probably want to look at. So I'm going to show you some things on my laptop today. Um, just quickly walk through a few things. And there are a couple of things that you'll need to do if you want to use this method. I'll put links down in the description to all the places you need. Uh, to go do this, and it's really only two places. First of all, you need a Chat GPT account. Now, I use the free version, which is running Chat 3.5. The paid version, I think, is around $20 a month for Chat GPT 4. The main difference between those two things is that if I want to ask Chat GPT to do research for me, the database of the World Wide Web is limited to 2021. So anything that happened after 2021, it, it's going to search its databases, and then it's going to create an answer for you, <laughs> which may not always be that accurate. So always take ChatGPT with a grain of salt. If you want it to create an outline for you, if you're a blog writer, and uh, you want it to create an outline for you that you could start from if you're just like, I don't know what to write about this week. It's great for that kind of stuff. If you have a paragraph of text that you want ChatGPT to improve, you can put that text into the, into the prompt box at the bottom of the page, ask it to improve that text. It will send you back something. Uh, Maybe an improvement, it may not. Uh, one of the things that I like about this program is that it's free. Always a good thing. Now, when I signed up, there was a waiting period. It took me three or four days to get approved. Um, and so if you sign up, you may have to wait. I don't know what the wait time is now. It may be instantaneous. So you're going to need a chat GPT account. I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to type a prompt to show you what this looks like. So let's see, let's do write a five point outline for a YouTube video on how to use chat GPT in real life. How about that? And we're just going to let it give me that. So here's an introduction, getting started. Uh, it even tells me, because it's a YouTube video, it tells me the timestamps of what it suggests. It's a 13-minute video, and um, I will, um, I'll add this to the description below the video so you don't have to read it right now. But you see how fast that was, okay? The other thing about ChatGPT is I have use this little button up here in the upper left-hand corner to turn off the sidebar for this video. So everything that I've ever done on ChatGPT, unless I delete it, is saved as a history file and I can go back and find it later. That's ChatGPT. The other thing that you're going to need is a YouTube, or a, rather a Chrome extension called Glasp. Now keep in mind that Chrome, Google Mail, YouTube... Google Drive, all of those things work interchangeably. They are all Google products. So you're going to need a you're going to be needing to use the Chrome browser, which you can do on a Mac or a PC. I've already installed the extension. I'm going to show it to you as an extension form here in just a second. But this does a host of things, and basically one of the main things it does if you're reading an article on the web, or if you're reading a PDF document, you can highlight certain pieces of text and it will save it for you. So if you're doing research or if you're a student, this is, or even a teacher, this is something that I have shared with teachers in professional development settings of a Chrome extension that they should use. So I'm going to show you why I think it's that great. 
Now I'm going to come over here to YouTube. I have this set up for a YouTube video that I've recommended in the comments to several people who have asked me, I want to, I want to do minimalism. I want to declutter, but my spouse is not on board. What should I do? And in almost every instance, I have said, go to Joshua Becker's YouTube channel and the search for this video, 12 practical tips to turn your partner into more of a minimalist, not full blown, but more. Now, this video is nine minutes long and I could watch this video, but I'm not going to watch it for the purpose of this tutorial. What I am going to do is show you that right here, I have the glass extension set up. The glass extension is this little icon up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And if I open that, I can add certain settings. And one of the things that I've done is I've set this to enable on youtube.com. So you will see that it's on. If I go to um, the GLASP website, website, you will see that it's off. There are certain websites that it is not allowed to work on. So just keep that in mind. If you're using it on the web, you may see it turned off from time to time but I have it set up so that I can use it on YouTube. And here's what it does. You'll see that I have the chat GPT icon here. Chat GPT is going to analyze this video. I never have to play it. It's going to analyze this video and it's going to give me a full transcript of everything said in the video. Now, this is something that YouTube does. When you upload a video to YouTube, it runs a, a program in the background that reads what you said. Reads what you said. So that if, for instance, I'm talking about GLASP as an extension, the more times that I use the term GLASP, which is a hard word to say, <laughs> YouTube picks up on that, and the more that I say it, the more that I talk about GLASP, YouTube says, oh, this video must really be about GLASP. And so um, it, it, it says, okay, so the video is, it matches the title. It's not clickbait. It, 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 it's, you know, and it, and it helps the search algorithm. It's a long story. I'm going to post it right here, and I'm going to say, Give me a summary. And it's going to go to chat GPT and it's going to put the entire transcript in chat GPT with this tag at the top that says summarize the following in simple language. And so it automatically generates a result for me. And it gives me the 12 steps with some basic information. So I can get the outline to this video before I've ever watched it. And it takes less than 30 seconds. So if you find a video and you say, oh, this looks like it might be interesting. I wonder if it's really going to tell me what I want to know. You can quickly go to Glass, click a button, and ChatGPT will show you what's being talked about in the video and then you can watch it if you want to, or you can take these and you can say, using the 12 points above, expand the understanding from the video transcript. And then it's going to give me a new 12 points with more meat on each of those points. So if you are researching something, if you are a student and you're writing a paper, always use ChatGPT with a grain of salt because it may give you some information that is not true, okay? But in this case, we're just analyzing the transcript that I've already put into the prompt box. And it's going to give me all of this. As a blogger, this is a great tool. As a student researcher, this is a great tool. If I'm a teacher and I am looking to see whether a video is something that I want to share with my students, I don't have to watch a 20 or 25 minute video. I can use GLASP to give me an outline 
and then I can watch the video to make sure that it's age appropriate. There is one caveat here, and that is that this works best with videos that are less than 20 minutes. And the reason for that is the chat GPT prompt box only has a certain number of characters allowed before it stops reading. You could put in the whole the whole uh, text of War and Peace, if that's what you want to do, but it's only going to read about the first 4,000 words or so. As a result, 18, 19-minute videos, those will work. This one was about 9 minutes, worked great. But you can see how easy this is to use. Now, what I would suggest, or what I would, what I would do as a starting point for you, is to install the GLASP extension, come back to this video, and click on it and see what you get. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful, if this is something you think you might use, or if you have another extension that you use that does the same kind of thing, put that in the comments below. I'm always looking for new tools. And again, I appreciate you watching as always, and we will see you next time.